Hello, my name is Rebecca Lopez. And I'm Maricela Alguin from San Antonio, Texas. The first time I met Maricela um, is on a dance floor. Uh, you know, she's an incredible dancer. <laughs> I met her at the Alamo Street Eat Bar. She kind of gave me a hard time, but you liked it, you know? She's kind of a very charismatic person. So, you know, maybe I ran into her three more times after that we finally got to talking and, and became great friends, and, and then I became one of the great loves of her life. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> First time at Maricela, Chris took me to Echale, and um, she was there in the VIP section, and she was so hilarious. Gave up, gave Chris a big kiss on the lips, and I was like, who's this chick? She's a regular um, at the Friendly Spot, and the staff, she's like the sister to every person on our staff, or the mother, you know, if they get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is this, you know, you don't want to cross Maricela. And the reason why is because everyone loves Maricela. So if you cross her, you know, um, we joke like, I'll cut a bitch for Maricela. I think that Cella represents San Antonio perfectly because she's a whole lot of warmth and a whole lot of community and a whole lot of earth. But she's a little bit of cochina too. <laughs> and so, um, and she, I quickly learned after meeting her that she has a Facebook page um, dedicated to nalgas. Nalgas of the day. <laughs> Basically, she gets permission to take pictures of people's, you know, rear ends. I have been a nalgas of the day twice. Um, I know my husband has been once. And even, even my children, you know, no face. That's the rule. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe more than one. I don't know if it's been published or posted, but I know it's definitely somewhere. He's like, hello, my name's Maricela. I have this page called Nagas of the Day. Do you mind if I take a photo of your butt? Because it's nice. And then they get excited and they pose and then they're like, can we have a photo shoot? And I was like, oh, calm down. It's not that serious. If you go to someone's event and then all of a sudden you know that Chella was the one who designed the cake and to bake the cake, then you know you're in for a treat. You know it's going to be uh, visually stimulating as well as um, delicious. <laughs> Making cakes just started off as a fluke. My friend wanted me to make my friend a birthday cake. And I was like, okay, cool. But then when I was going to make the cake, they shut off my water because there was a huge water leak out front. But all I had in my refrigerator was beer. <laughs> so I used a uh, chocolate stout beer for the cake. And um, it was amazing. And then other friends started ordering cakes and giving me the flavors that they wanted. And they would give me a picture of like, can you make this cake? And I was like, I don't know, but I'll try. And uh, I turned out to really like it. And I became pretty good at it. Chella came in to brunch a few Sundays and I noticed her finger was bandaged. And I pulled her aside and I said, well, what's going on with your finger? And she said, I got this tumor. In typical Maricela fashion, she wanted everybody else to be comfortable, everybody to think she was okay. And so I think by the time we all realized what was going on, uh, we realized we probably should have been concerned, you know, before. I noticed a red mark on the tip of my middle finger, but it was super sensitive and I kind of just like, well maybe I pinched it on something and I just let it go. But the mark started getting bigger and more sensitive and then it started affecting my whole finger and then it started affecting my whole hand up to my elbow. They found through x-rays and MRIs that it was attached to one of my nerves in my hand, which was causing me all the pain. Thank God the results came back to be benign, but she racked up quite a few bills in the process. For an entrepreneur like that, it can put you out of business in several ways. It can put you out of business because you can't work with your hands, and it can put you out of business because, you know, the bills stack up. I take care of my parents, so knowing that I might not be able to work from home anymore was a big scare to me because one, I love baking cakes because it makes people happy. 
and I'm still able to be an artist that actually gets paid for stuff. <laughs> so I waited a long time to go to the doctor because I knew that I didn't want to have those bills. And now I have the bills anyways. So, oh. so now I'm forced to get a normal nine to five job and not take care of my parents anymore and but pay my bills. Um, so yeah, that's a hard decision to make. Maricela is San Antonio and I love that uh, someone is gonna step up and uh, ask for assistance for her because she would never do it herself. We're doing this for Chella because I know that she would do this for each and every one of us, so. Give her some money! <laughs> love you! Maricela, um, I love you. I think you're an amazing person. Um, I'm glad that you're in my life. I'm glad that you're in San Antonio. And uh, keep making cakes, keep being you, keep dancing. We'll see you soon on the dance floor.